Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you all are having a great day. It's watering day for me, I think. Um, this is the conditions that we have today here in Tennessee. This is my outside temperature. This is my indoor temperature. And this is my humidity. It's rained most of the week. So that's going to change my watering schedule, especially with my moss orchids. So I thought I'd give you a quick tip on how to figure out when your moss orchids need to be watered. It does change when your temperatures go down and your humidity changes. And as I turn around, this is what greets me. <laughs> I love these Vanda blooms. Um, wow, when you have Vanda blooms, you have to share them with people. So I just wanted to share these with you today. So beautiful. They just continue to deepen in color and they start and they just get larger and larger. Such beautiful blooms. Okay, and my miniature fowls are right beneath my Vandas here, pulled a little bit away from the window, but they get a lot of light. So let's see which ones of these need to be watered today. I'm going to just lift them. That is still heavy. That does not need to be watered. Okay, how about this one? There's not as much moss in these little pots, so these you have to kind of keep an eye on. This one could keep until tomorrow, but do you see how the, the green roots, they're still green, but they're not green, green. So this one's getting light. I'm going to go ahead and water that one today. Okay, let's look, check on this one. This one could probably wait for another day. Do you see these roots are still very green? and it's not as light as this one. Okay, let's check on Buddy. Let's give him, oh goodness, no, that's, that's heavy. Still has plenty of water there. Okay, let's go around here to Legato. This one's heavy as well. When they need to be watered, you can tell because they get, the pots get really light, so you can just lift them up and see. Yeah, that one's very, very heavy. That one definitely doesn't need. How about Llewellyn Preppy Lip? Heavy as well. So you can also fill them, of course, with your fingers, but when you lift them up and they're heavy like that, there's still plenty of moisture in the pots. So I thought I would give you that quick tip today to see how often you need to water your moss orchids and how to check that. So you all have a great day and be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed. And we'll talk to you next time.